Tanks have significantly impacted wars, capable of causing immense harm with a single blow. These human-operated machines change the shape of the war, and here we introduce to you the world's best tanks. What qualities make a tank the best? When did the tanks first start? The tanks were used for the first time in battle occurred during the Battle of Fleur Corselet on September 15, 1916, marking an important moment in warfare. Since its first use, numerous countries have dedicated considerable time and resources to develop improved versions of these tanks. Among these, one of the best is the T-55. T-55 tanks are a type of Soviet battle tanks made after World War II. They've been in many wars since the mid-1900s. The tank has a common design with other tanks from World War II, having a front fighting area, a rear engine section, and a round turret in the middle. The driver sits at the front left, the commander in the turret's left, the gunner in front, and the loader on the right. The T-55 was the first to have protection against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats. If you are wondering where you can see one for real, you can see one at the USS Alabama Battleship Park in Mobile, Alabama, captured during Operation Desert Storm, and another at Fort Polk Museum in Fort Polk, Louisiana, USA. The T-62 is a successor of the T-55. The T-62 is a Russian tank that came out in 1961. It resembles its predecessor, the T-55, with a low shape and thick turret armor. What makes the T-62 special is that it was the first tank with a smoothbore gun that could shoot special rounds at high speeds. The T-62 is still kept in reserve in Russia and used by other countries. The tank has a usual layout with the driver in the front, a fighting area in the middle, and the engine in the back. The crew has four people, a commander, driver, gunner, and loader. While the T-62 is a lot like the T-55 and shares many parts, there are some differences, like a slightly bigger hull, different wheels, and gaps between wheels. There's a 7.62mm machine gun next to the main gun and a 12.7mm heavy machine gun on top. The tank carries 40 rounds for the main gun and 2,500 rounds for the machine gun. Later, in 1969, the T-72 was developed. The T-72 became the most common tank used by the Warsaw Pact countries from the 1970s until the Soviet Union ended in 1991. It was also sold to other countries like Finland, India, Iran, Iraq, Syria and Yugoslavia, and some countries made copies without permission. The T-72 was created by two competing design teams, one led by Alexander Morozov and the other by Leonid Kartsev. Before the invasion, some Russian tanks had improvised steel grills added to the turret's top, known as cope cages. However, tankers later removed them because they got in the way of machine guns and radios and made it hard to escape if the tank caught fire. In recent times, during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, the T-72 has been heavily used by both sides. The T-90 is the latest in this collection. It is a modern Russian tank developed to replace the T-72. It has a 125mm smoothbore main gun, an advanced fire control system, an upgraded engine, and thermal vision for the gunner. It comes with a mix of steel and composite armor, smoke grenades, explosive reactive armor, and an infrared anti-tank missile jamming system called Shtora for protection. Uralvagonzavod in Russia, the largest main battle tank manufacturer in the world, made the T-90, and it was used by the Russian army since 1992. The T-90's main gun is a modified version of the Sprut anti-tank gun. It can shoot different types of ammunition, including anti-tank missiles. An automatic loader in the tank removes the need for a manual loader, reducing the crew to three people, the commander, gunner, and driver. The autoloader can quickly load rounds, and the tank can hit heavily armored targets while moving. The tank showed good accuracy during testing, hitting targets at various distances. India bought 310 T-990S tanks from Russia in 2001, and Algeria ordered 185 tanks in 2005. In 2010, Libya wanted to buy T-90s. But due to the country's actions against protesters in 2011, the United Nations stopped the arms deals. With all these tanks, what defines the best tank are factors like its protection, firing range, accuracy, capabilities of fire control systems, and armament capabilities. However, it's important to remember that, ultimately, these are just machines. The success of a tank relies on the skill and performance of the crew operating it.